hello guys this is Olushala David and welcome to my youtube channel now in today's video i'm going to show you how you can deposit money in the roku platform as well as how you can withdraw your money from the roku platform if you want to use the platform to invest in cryptocurrency okay now the crypto market is actually hot and for you to see a platform that allows you to deposit and withdraw seamlessly with naira even with the fact that cryptocurrency is banned in nigeria is actually a life-saving platform okay so for you to use the platform i'm going to show you how you can easily deposit your money in roku using the peer-to-peer -peer system and how you can withdraw your money back from the roku platform equally using the peer-to-peer -peer platform all right so if you are here to have an account with roku i'm going to add a link at the description of the video so just click the link to sign up to create an account with them so once your account is set up once your account is created now the next thing you have to do is to fund the account and to fund the account you need to log in so once you are logged in you should see something like this so you should see this interface you should see deposit buy sell then withdraw okay so to deposit what you need to do now is click on the deposit button right here all right so it's going to prompt you to specify the amount of money you want to deposit into the platform okay so let's say you want to start with five thousand error okay so you could also click this toggle button to include the fee okay so once you've done that the next thing you want to do now click with click proceed to deposit okay so now because cryptocurrency is banned in nigeria you cannot use your debit card you cannot use bank transfer now the only thing you can use currently is the peer-to-peer -peer, is the peer-to-peer -peer method okay and once you are using the peer-to-peer -peer method you need to be careful okay so i'm going to walk you through how you can actually use it so if you're going to be sending the money from your bank account or your wallet app you need to specify that right here so you click on bank then it's going to prompt you to verify the account you are sending the money from now this is the account i used to register on the platform so any money you're going to be sending on the platform should be from this account because they will be able to monitor the transaction so in case you have an issue or probably you have a problem they can help you look into it's going to be easier to resolve okay so what you want what you want to do right here is to click on proceed now so it seems there is no one to pay me with to actually deposit my money but to avoid wasting our time i'm actually going to go over to the roku platform and um, to the roku channel then get a video on how you can actually deposit with the peer-to-peer -peer method then include a video to show you how you can deposit your money then i would proceed ahead and show you how you can withdraw money from the roku platform to your local bank account all right so i'm going to include the video right now so what happens is that the system automatically matches me with uh, a P2P merchant that I can send money to. So as you can see, uh, I have Topsy, I have uh, Luke Skywalker, I have Olola Day, and a couple of them. So you can select any of these merchants. So let's say, for instance, I want to send money to Topsy. I will go ahead and click Deposit with Topsy, or I think I prefer Banner. So I can go to banner and click on deposit with banner. All right. So uh, on the system, we um, review the account details of banner. So um, when you're, the next thing that we're going to do will be to open. Now the next thing we need to do will be, will be to go ahead and make a transfer of 10,000 Naira to these bank details that are listed here. And in my transfer narration, in the transaction narration, you must you must put the transaction narration in your bank app when sending the money failure to do so means that the money will be lost as you can see it was well uh, written here so when you make the transfer of money and you provide the transaction narration the next thing you need to do will be to go down and click i have made payment so as you can see we as you can see on the roku platform you are also instructed to pay from the account that you selected your verified bank account failure to do so means that uh, your money will not be um, um, verified by the merchant so after all of this has been done you go ahead and click on i have made the payment and the merchant will now be notified so this this process usually takes uh, gets completed under five minutes so as soon as you've done that the next thing you need to do will be to return back to your wallet 
and you receive a notification when um, your deposit has been confirmed so this is very simple and this is exactly how to do it all right guys so now that we've known how we can actually deposit money in our local accounts the next thing we need to know is how we can actually withdraw our money from the local account to our local bank account so let's say you've invested in a crypto asset and you've seen some increase and you want to withdraw your funds back to your local bank account this is how you're going to do it so the first thing you need to do now is to choose the asset that you want to withdraw the money from okay so let's say you invest let's say you invest in bitcoin or ethereum and you want to withdraw the profit you have in those assets now the first thing you need to do now is to come to buy and sell then click on instant sell so from here you choose the the crypto asset you want to withdraw the money from so first you have to sell the crypto asset to naira then withdraw your naira to your local bank account so let's assume i want to withdraw money from ive so i'm going to click on ive so if it's on ive you have to change it to ngn okay so let's assume i want to withdraw three thousand naira from my ive asset so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to click on proceed with sales so it says you sell so 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 of ive then the service charge is 60 naira while i'm going to get 3000 naira. so i'm going to click on accept okay so if i go to wallet i'm going to see the balance in my wallet so as you can see i now have the balance in my wallet so what i want to do right now is to click on withdraw so withdraw to bank so i'm going to specify the amount i want to withdraw to bank so i think i have 3000 naira. so i'm going to the service charge the fee for that is going to be 125 naira. so the total money they are going to deduct is going to be 3125 naira. so let me click proceed with withdrawal okay so this is the my bank account that is integrated with the account so i'm going to click submit withdraw her okay so three thousand error withdraw now so to verify that it's me they've sent an email to my email address so i'm just going to rush to my gmail account to copy the code and use it to verify my account all right so i think i can see the code now so let me quickly okay so this is seven six is zero four zero okay so i'm going to enter it seven six six four zero okay so i'm going to click verify okay i think i did a mistake is oh four oh four oh okay oh four um. So as you can see, the minimum bank withdrawal is 50,000 error. Use wallet withdrawal for lower limit. Okay, so apparently I cannot withdraw the money because the money is actually lower to the money I can withdraw with the bank transfer. Probably that's the reason I couldn't deposit in the first place. Okay, so if you want to withdraw money at this range, so what you want to do now is to what you want to do you want to do is come back home here then click on withdraw then that means we're going to be going with this option and currently what you have here what they have here is op butter wallet and so apparently i don't have any of this app so if you have any of this app you can actually go ahead and use this app to withdraw your money so in my home case that means i have to wait and let my let my money grow to 50,000 naira before I can actually withdraw the money to my local bank account. All right, so basically this is how you can deposit and withdraw money from the Roku platform if you are using the platform to invest in cryptocurrency. Okay, so if this is your first time visiting this channel, please I want you to like this video, then subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can get more videos like this. All right, so thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.